Hello and welcome back to the MCAT grind. We have Organic Chemistry Chapter 8, just on carboxylic acid. Surprisingly, this is one that will come up quite a bit. Carboxylic acid itself, either in conjunction with other compounds or in reactions. Reason is of these properties that makes it acidic. It has the carbonyl uh, oxygen that can pull electron density away after it deprotonizes, turning to the base, making the base very, very stable. You can think about after removing the H, the O helps pull away the electron density, so make it stabilize the electron. And you can even form a conjugate uh, when, no, not a conjugate, but a resonance structure, right, that the bond can jump from here to here as well. So that stabilizes the electron a lot more, making the relative uh, acid very acidic. So the general rule to remember is if the conjugate base is very stable, then the compound is more acidic. It also has hyd hydrogen bonding capabilities because of the OH, right? The H can go ahead and hydrogen bond with the carb uh, carbonyl oxygen and so forth. As such, its, its stability is really high and can have high boiling temperature if it exists in a compound. So what we name it is using oic acid. So this is a methanoic acid, methane, all right, there's one carbon, uh, methane, but oic acid because of this group. One carbon, cover oxygen and OH. So Car um, methanoic acid, also known as formic acid, formic for ant, because that's what uh, commonly found in ant, I suppose. We also have acetic acid. This is one, two carbons, and this is uh, two carbons, so that's ethane. So that's ethane noic acid, otherwise known as acetic acid. So we also have not only the electron withdrawing groups of O. If you have another uh, group nearby, such as NO2, that can also draw away the electron density, making it a lot more stable. However, some groups like NH4, that actually donates electron density and make it a lot more uh, uh, basic. So what that means is if there's no withdrawing groups like oxygen to help draw away the, e the electrons, you end up with slightly more basic and the conjugate base is not as stable. We also have what is called a diodic acid which is two carbon uh, carboxylic acid conjuncting joining each other. So this is the most ba basic diodic acid, one two, so uh, ethyl diodic acid. We also have amide derivative which has an N instead of an OH to it and for amide, if it is in a cyclic structure, we have the beta lactam, the simplest, and then we have uh, gamma, and then it's delta, and then epsilon, so forth, with more and more member rings. Ester can also be formed if we substitute the OH with another O alcohol group to go ahead and do a SN1 attack. Either SN1, probably SN2. Yes, SN2 attack. And I think that has a specific name called um, acyl substitution. Yes, acyl substitution. Nucleal acyl substitution. A C Y L. Acyl is basically standing for carboxylic acid. Acyl. So that's anything involving the derivatives of carboxylic acid and the nucleal substitution for that. And hydride is basically two uh, carboxylic acid joining together, but and hydride, so and so no hydride, so taking away a hydro, uh, uh, water molecule, so dehydrated, right? Take away uh, H2O from it. We have synthesis, so synthesis involves primary, uh, primary alcohol or aldehyde to oxidize. When you oxidize it you would turn into carboxylic acid. And any, uh, 
I think the very weak one, PN04, could able to oxidize it just to, I think PR04, no, CR is a PR04, but it can only evolve it into oxidizer to aldehyde. But if you use a stronger oxidizer, such as KMN04, that can oxidize it all the way to carboxylic acid. The reverse could also work uh, in reduction to primary alcohol from a carboxylic acid, and you can only use lithium aldehyde because NABR4 is too weak to reduce it. We also have carbox decarboxylation, which takes away a carbon dioxide. What happens is that the carbon here uh, gets uh, pushed off and this bond, electron bond, double bonds to O, so you have a C double bond to O this side, O to this side, and that entire molecule gets taken away. Saponification occurs when you have salt and OH bind to fatty acid, which creates a, a hydrophobic tail and hydrophilic head, and that creates the micelles bubbles that will trap uh, dirt and any molecules within the micelles and then the outside become water soluble and can wash off. That's basically soap. Alright, that's basically it for carboxylic acid.